Messi is finished. Yes, you heard me. Lionel Messi is finished. Welcome to Touch Football, and today I'm going to be doing my reactions to match day two of the World Cup. And the first game is obviously Argentina versus Saudi Arabia. What a game, what a shock result. And that is where you get the question, Messi is finished, or the statement, Messi is finished. And now calm down, calm down, Messi fanboys. I do know... I do know he is not actually finished and for me he is the best of all time he is the best player of all time definitely the best player of all time without a doubt he is alien he is not human he is absolutely mental however the question for me is for argentina is Lionel messi finished and honestly it's a reasonable question i know argentina they went on that really long unbeaten run for a while but to end it in an international tournament against saudi arabia it's just not what it was dreamt up to be, Argentina's World Cup. They were the big favourites, big, big favourites. Or, sorry, not the biggest favourites, but they were one of the teams out up there to win it. And to go with your first game in the group and lose 2-1 to Saudi Arabia. First goal, nice, decent goal from Saudi Arabia. Uh, Argentina's first goal, Messi got the penalty, converted it nice and coolly. Credit to him for that. However, after that, didn't see too much from Messi, to be honest. For the game, I was excited. I wanted to see what he would do. Probably his last World Cup. I wanted to see how he would prove himself to the world. But I just didn't see. I just didn't see that much from him, to be honest. And I think that he could have done a lot better that game. Although players like Di Maria, players around him were poor. Di Maria were poor, was poor, and I think that other players as well weren't that good. Gomez, I thought, would have a decent tournament. He wasn't that good. I don't know why the manager starting Otamendi instead of Lissandro Martinez because I think. He would have given that Argentina team some bite and some aggression that they were really lacking for me. Although you could not take away anything from that Saudi Arabia second goal. What a bit of skill. What a finish. You just can't argue with it. But like I was saying, Messi is finished for Argentina in my mind. I really want to see him do well at this World Cup. But after that performance, unless something changes drastically, just can't see it happening. I think... I mean, yeah, look, I've already said this. Messi, best player of all time, without a doubt. And he won the Copa America for Argentina. I just really thought this would be his tournament. He would make it his own. And honestly, Argentina let me down. I thought they'd be so much better. But to come out and lose to Saudi Arabia, who, credit to their team spirit, were very good in the end. But like they started the game dominating. They scored three offside goals. One was cleared off the line, but I think that one that was cleared off the line, it would have been called back for a foul anyway. But they just couldn't quite find the finishing touch, Argentina. And having the three offside goals did not help them. Luck was against them, but they still should be good enough to be beating Saudi Arabia. Next game then, Tunisia versus Denmark. And I can't say much about the game, really. Honestly, very boring, although... Absolute credit to Tunisia. Denmark, one of my big dark horses for the tournament. Thought they'd have a really good tournament. And this game, for me, they let me down. They weren't horrible, but they weren't great. Although, props to Tunisia. They looked just so good defensively. They were such a good organised unit. And they just looked like such a good, solid team. They were playing for each other, playing for the badge. I mean, everyone was talking about the tackle in the first minute from the Tunisian left-back. And... He's done the tackle, he's hitting the badge and everything, he's passionate. Then that's just what you could see throughout the whole team. They were passionate, they wanted that game, they wanted to be there, they were up for it. And after barely scraping through qualifying against Mali, I believe, Mali, the fact they've gone to the World Cup against a team like Denmark and done that is utterly ridiculous. This is a Denmark team that have beaten France twice in the last year. So for Tunisia to go out and get a draw... And a very good draw for them against them is a top quality result. I mean, maybe if they could have could shown a bit more going forward, they could have had a chance to snatch that game with a 1-0 win. And unfortunately, the next game, also a 0-0 draw. Poland and Mexico, honestly, Mexico were the better team. Headline from the game, Lewandowski missed a penalty. Okoa, Mexican goalkeeper, turns up every single international tournament Mexico go to. He turns up, just seems to disappear back into the wilderness of Mexican or MLS football. But then for the World Cup, he turns out, turns up, pulls up, out a solid performance. And, I mean, you can't argue with him, really. He seems to do really well for Mexico. You do not want to change that. 
But I think if Mexico, Raul Jimenez wasn't injured and hadn't been sort of off since his injury, I think they would have had a good chance of winning that game because they were just lacking the final touch to put it in the back of the net. And I think Mexico were definitely the better side against Poland for this game. And yeah, the Poles, I was expecting a lot more for them. Obviously, wasn't expecting Lewandowski to get a pen but then miss it. That was ridiculous. You'd think a lethal striker like Lewandowski, one that almost won the Ballon d'Or, you'd think he would be putting a penalty away. However, that was not the case. Great save from Akoa and made a couple of other good saves. Chesney had to make a few good saves as well in the nil-nil draw. So really, the standout for that game is the keepers and props to both of them for helping their team keep a clean sheet. But both of those teams were probably hoping for a bit more from their midfield and attack. And then the final game of today, Australia versus France. And this game... It kind of lost its interest after France got their third goal. But Australia, fair play. You went out that game and you tried to win. You tried to win. It was a brilliant mentality, brilliant attitude going into that game. And obviously, my player to watch for Australia was Matthew Leckie. And he got the assist for Goodwin's goal. So I was happy with that. And I was like, let's go. I was like, come on, Australia. You can do this. However, the World Cup curse was avoided by France on this instance. I was really hoping that they would get struck down by it. The Socceroos would get a great result. However, after Rabiot equalised, Mbappe, no, sorry, not Mbappe, Giroud got the second, I believe. They just didn't look the same. I'm sorry to say, but Australia, after they lost their lead, they just didn't look like the same team. Although, credit to Kai Rolls, I believe, the centre-back. He looked brilliant. And the midfielders, they didn't stop working. Moy was the main man of the game for the first 20 minutes. That kind of faded away. Too many had a good game. Then Ben had a good game. And to be fair, Australia, they couldn't do too much about France in that game. Mbappe was electric and he was just unstoppable, really. Although there was some good instances of defence from the Australians on the right-hand side. However, the quality of France was just simply too much for them. However, I do want to give... A message of condolence to the Theo Hernandez, I believe, Lucas Hernandez, sorry, he got replaced by Theo Hernandez. His, bro his brother did get injured and I want to say a speedy recovery to him and hopefully both brothers will be able to line up in a World Cup match soon. Australia gave us all hope, let it go, but fair play to them. They, they ran around and they put themselves about and they did put a lot of dedication into that game. So that is it for this video, match day two reaction. Is Messi finished is the question. However, remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.